Hello 3D printing fans! My name is Igor and a few months ago I created a review video about the Polythera PLA which arrives on this cardboard uh, spool and I noticed more and more filaments will arrive on this material. This is 3D QF which is the most popular in the UK. And during that uh, review I noticed that uh, this cardboard spool doesn't roll uh, good on the filament holder compared to the plastic spools. I even measured the force which is required to unroll the filament. Uh, so in case of the uh, cardboard spool, it was two and a half times bigger compared to the plastic spool. And uh, that force is even bigger if you are printing something wider and you are pulling the filament under the angle. And in that case, you have additional friction here on the side of the spool. I mean, uh, cardboard spools are good for environment. I, I really appreciate that. But uh, this problem has to be solved, because the extruder is now doing uh, two important things. The primary is to push the filament through the hot end and the nozzle. And if you have a Bovden style printer, then you have additional friction inside that Bovden tube. And now it also has to pull the filament from the spool. Uh, in most cases it can handle this without any problems. But you can never know where are you close to the skipping steps or something like that, or maybe uh, two loops are under each other and maybe that additional friction will just uh, stop the unrolling. So uh, why not reduce the rigs uh, by uh, creating a rotating spool holder. I will mention in that video that, that uh, I will DIY create some uh, rotating spool holder. But then I was in uh, communication with the Banggood and <laughs> they told me they have solution for this. So why don't I try the rotating spool holder. So, this package is sent to me by Banggood for a review. Of course, in the future, I want to uh, create some rotating spool, spool holders myself for, for other printers because uh, some are not so standard and it's not easy to find the complete solution. Let's try uh, how it performs uh, on Ender 3 V2 in this case. First, let's do some visual comparison. So, this is the original spool holder and this is the polytherapy. This is 3D QF and this is some plastic spool. So even visually I can see the difference, but let's try to measure it again. Starting with plastic spool. Point zero sixty five kilograms. 3D QF spool. I think the peak was 0.13, but I will check on the footage. I hope it will be visible. And this is Polytera spool. 0.125. Now let's see what's in the package. Even the bolts are uh, included, however, I can use the existing ones. Uh -huh. And it has two bar bearings. Unlock it. Because my spool holder is uh, rotated in, in this direction because uh, I have a direct drive extruder, so uh, filaments go directly down. Pay attention to the posi position of the T nuts. And when I rotate the bolts, the nuts will uh, rotate 90 degrees and lock in a place. First visual test. Now let's measure the pulling force. So starting with polyterrace pull. Wow. 0.04.
0 0.055 was the peak, 3DQF. 0 0.055. And this is again that plastic spool. 0 0.025. 0 0.035 was the peak, I think. Here you can see our results in this Excel table. So these are results with the standard spool holder. And these are results with the rotating spool holder. But you can compare better the results here in this uh, graph. And the final conclusions. Well, you saw the results a few seconds ago, so you definitely reduce the friction of the unrolling, especially if you are using the cardboard spools. I mean, probably we will see these types of the spools more and more in the near future, and because they are good for my environment, and I appreciate it really. Uh, but this is an upgrade which I really recommend to everybody. Uh, it is not expensive and uh, it can uh, reduce the friction. Will it affect the pr quality of the printing? Well, in most cases, probably not, except if you are, uh, if your extruder is close to the struggling, to skipping steps, uh, well, actually not skipping steps, but uh, slip between the pulling gears and the filament. Especially if you're using some software filaments, you have to reduce the pressure to the filament. And uh, in that case, uh, more slipping may appear. Or imagine a case like this, I just noticed on this pole. This is end of the filament and it is below this loop. It's not jammed, so if I pull it, it, it will pull uh, below, it will pull, pull out this filament. But who knows, maybe uh, exactly this will prevent the disaster during overnight printing. So uh, it is really cheap and uh, definitely recommended upgrade. Whenever you decide to buy this one or you want to DIY some uh, rotating sp uh, spool holder. If you decide to buy exactly this one and you want to support me, you can use the affiliate link down in the description. It doesn't cost you more, but I will get some small commission from it. And uh, uh, that would be in this, I hope it's short video. Thank you for watching and happy and safe printing.